We have entered a new era. Other countries are putting things into space. Even countries like India. India. What do you mean even India? India, India because when we think of India, do we think frontier space? Of, of Look at the American hubris that we carry coming out of the 20th century. We have an, our deep understanding of what we think the rest of the world is, and then what it actually is is different, such as India, where they so, launched an uncrewed vehicle into orbit, which is the first step before you put people into orbit. Absolutely. So I, I went to Charlie. I, I, I said, Charlie. Charlie, I Char said. I, I said, Charlie. <laughs> the whole world is now kind of doing what NASA's been doing. There's some competition out there. Isn't that a great thing? And I asked him, do you, do, do you, do you, does this feel like competition to you? Mm -hmm. Let's find out what he told me. We teach people, we act as a, a model for how people of different cultures, different races, different nationalities can, in fact, work together. There are now five other nations, at least five, who are sitting on the surface of Mars roaming around for the first time ever, because there's only been one nation, one nation in the history of humankind that has ever successfully landed a vehicle on the surface of Mars that has functioned, and that's the United States. You know that. America. However, America, if you <laughs> want to put it America. that way. But, but right now, there are other nations. I'd, I'd lost count. That, thanks for reminding me no. of that. M many, many, Is the, that the, the model going forward? The chance, international co-op? Yes. Without question. Okay. If you look at the Inter Space Launch System, if, oh, International Space Station, no doubt. That, that's, my champ, that's my championship model. That is the largest collaboration of nations outside of warfare yeah. that there is.